Uh, so in Australia, if you earn some money, you need to pay income tax. That's just the way it works. That's what makes our roads uh, get maintained and that keeps the schools running. Uh, the tax pays for a lot of different things. But you've got to pay some income tax if you earn money. Uh, now we have something called a progressive tax. Uh, now look at this table here and it'll explain what happens. Now if you earn from zero to $18,200, you don't pay any tax at all. Zero tax if you earn under $18,201. Now, if you earn $18,201, you pay $0.19 cents for each dollar over $18,200. So if you earn $18,201 exactly, you'll pay $0.19. Cents. And you pay $0.19 cents for every dollar until you reach $37,000 in the year. If you earn $37,001, the tax rate changes. Now you pay $3,572. That money represents all of the tax you would have paid in this bracket. Plus, now you're not paying 19 cents for every dollar, you're paying 32.5 cents for every dollar. Once you start earning some, some bigger dollars, 87,000 and one, you can see that tax rate changes again. So 19 cents, 32.5, 37. And once you start earning over 180,000 a year, it's 45 cents for every dollar. So, it's called a progressive rate because the more money you earn, the greater the percentage of tax you earn. Uh, yeah, sorry, the greater the percentage of tax you pay. Uh, so let's go through a couple of examples using some um, standard amounts of money. So let's say your income is $75,000 for the year. And we want to calculate your tax on that. So tax payable equals. Now it's important that we look to see which bracket, these are called tax brackets, which tax bracket we fit into. We earn 75,000, so we don't fit into this bracket because this is for people that earn between 18 and 37. We fit into this bracket, 37,001 to 87,000. All right, and the way that you do it is just to follow these instructions. So the tax payable is equal to this, 3,572 plus, instead of doing 32.5 cents, I'm going to do 32.5%, so that's 0 0.325, multiplied by, for each dollar over a, uh, sorry, for each dollar over 37,000. So I earned 75,000, so that's going to be 75,000 minus 37,000. I'll just do an extra line here, 3572 plus 0 0.325 times whatever's in those brackets there. Calculator time. So you can see 75,000 minus 37,000 is 38,000. And then finally, I can type all of that into my calculator and get an answer. So it's going to be 3572 plus 0.325 times 38,000. Fifteen nine fifteen nine two two. So. What this all means is that if you pay, sorry, if you earn $75,000, then you have to pay $15,922 in tax. So we can go one step further and we can calculate this person's net income. The net income is equal to your gross income minus tax that's equal to uh, gross income, 75000 that's the money you made, minus the tax you had to pay, 15922 Calculator. So that's going to be 59078 Okay, this is a, it re, there's a... There's quite a few steps here. 
Look at the income. Figure out which of these four brackets you belong in. And then follow the instructions here, depending on which bracket you're in. Quite a few steps. Uh, give it a try, get them wrong, and then come and talk to me and we'll figure out how to fix them up. All right. Good luck.